Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, there is a mind that has the capacity to create. There is a mind that has the capacity to destroy. There is a mind that has a capacity to love. There is a mind that has a capacity to hate. There is a mind that is allowed to remember and one that is allowed to forget. And the choice at each and every moment is yours. For as you weave the tapestry of your existence, it is made up of choices that are made. Choices to see the light or choices to see the shadow. Choices to consume, to envelop, to manifest, whatever it is that you desire. And yet when you choose to remember your sole purpose, when you choose to say, show me how it is that I am meant to live. Show me how it is that I am meant to love. Show me how it is that I am meant to remember. It takes a weight from upon your shoulders where you feel that you are doing this all alone, that the burden becomes yours. Beloved, there is no burden. There is only the levity of light, the levity of love. You find that when you allow yourself to fall in love with a seeming other, understand that there is a place where you have indeed fallen in love with an aspect of self. And you then project that onto another and say, this is the object of my desire. This is being that I love more than life itself. This is the one that I want to spend my days and my nights with endlessly forever. Beloved, all you are doing is truly falling in love deeply and madly with yourself. When you allow yourself to be in love with everything and everyone, no one thing is special. No one thing has more meaning or significance than another. You then allow yourself to move from the top of the head to the bottom of the toes and everything in between and to love every aspect of being, physical being. And then you can look upon yourself emotionally and say, there are parts of me that I think are healthy and there are parts of me that I think are a madman or a mad woman. And yet I am willing to love those as well. And then you look upon the mind and you say, I have a mind that thinks of random acts of violence. <laughs> I have a mind that thinks of how I could plant seeds and grow things. And then you come to your spirit, you come to your higher self, you come to the wisdom of your soul and of your spirit. And you say, am I deeply in love with all aspects of being? Yes. Can I allow myself to see and recognize and own the Christ of being that lives within? Can I extend that to the world? Can I show myself to the world as the Christ of being that I am? What if you started to declare to the world at large, Yeshua and I are best friends. And here's what he told me to say. He told me to tell you that I too am a Christed being as he is. Do you feel that it is safe for you to say such things? Do you feel that it is safe for you to know such things? Does it feel safe for you to be such things? Route out and find all the places buried within your body, your emotions, your mind, where you have denied the truth of you, the truth of you that is the purest essence of love, beauty, grace, holiness. Good, the good, the holy, and the beautiful is what you are truly an embodiment of. So allow yourselves, beloved ones, to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to remember. And when you know that you are forgetting, not the moments when you forget, but when you forget you are deep, headlong into the enmeshment with the ego. When you allow yourself to remember that you have forgotten, you need only ask. Ask for assistance from anywhere, and it will be granted unto you. But that is how it works. So go now with our blessings always, precious and beloved.
brothers and sisters, of light, love, and truth. Hmm. We thank you. I thank you. And I love you. Greetings.